would sit there and think there has to be a way out of this room. Not breakout, but like there must just be some words I can say, someone I can talk to. There must be a way. It's only a door. Like there, I can't just be stuck in this room. And it was hyper frustrating. Yeah. And it, the uncertainty of it is also scary because in my situation, every 30 days, they decide if they hold you longer or not. And I was encountering people who had been in there for years right. in my scenario. So well, the uncertainty is a form of torture, really. Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah it's, yeah, it's torture. It is torture. It's a, it, and it's designed to make you break. You mm -hmm. don't know how long you're going to be there mm -hmm. for. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. You hear horror stories. You see other people getting out who've done worse things than you after a week mm -hmm. because they've signed a piece of paper or admitted to something or whatever they've done, done a deal. And you're sitting there and yeah, it's hyper frustrating. And I think you have two choices as a man often when bad things happen. I feel like you can maybe get depressed and sad about it, but the other outlets usually anger or a form of anger. I felt like anger was more, in many cases, anger is more effective. I guess it's more useful. You were angry in there? I wouldn't say I was angry, but if I started to feel negative, I could turn it into frustration or anger, which I could at least alleviate with 2000 pushups. Right. It's, it's better than feeling sorry for myself. Right. I feel like if I had to choose one of the two outlets, deciding to use controlled anger was more beneficial than sitting around feeling sorry for myself. I don't ever believe in moping or feeling sad. Mm -hmm. So when I was at my worst, perhaps I was a little bit angry. But then again, I also think I do that in my normal life. If I'm honest, I don't think anger is a necessarily bad thing. Mm -hmm. I think that misdirected anger is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I think if you get very angry about scenarios and you put it in the correct direction, you get unlimited motivation and you get a lot done. The water behind the dam, it can be destructive, but if it's pushing through the turbine, it powers the town, right? So if I wake up and I go, I want more money, if I can get pissed off enough about it, I can do 36 hour work days, right? right? So there's nothing wrong with being angry in my world as long as you are putting it in the correct direction. It's uncontrolled anger, I think is a problem. Right, anger, anger can be used as a fuel and it's necessary. And from my framework, anger sometimes is a mask for pain. I'd, I'd agree with that. So did you experience pain in there? I know that's a pain is a, you know, a kind of an abstract word, but was it painful for you? Like, I want to know about your pain. Yeah, it's strange because I'm being as honest as possible. It's strange because I had this instilled sense of duty where even though I'm in a jail cell and I can't leave, and even though I'm cripplingly bored, I don't feel like I had time to feel pain or I didn't feel like I had time to be a victim. You had nothing but time. No, I didn't have time. What are you talking about? Because everyone outside still relied on me. So I, 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 when I would get on the phone, people would say, Is that avoidance though? I don't know. Do you keep busy? Do you avoid your feelings by keeping busy, being I, on the computer all the time? All, all the things I had to do still had to be done. Just because they threw me in a cell, it just made it more difficult, which means I have less time than ever because the difficulty has been increased. And when I would get on the phone, we wouldn't discuss how I'm feeling. I'd be worried about how everyone else is. They'd be like, how are you? Yeah, I'm in jail. What's going on with this? Are you okay? Are your bills paid? Are press hassling you? I was worried about fixing everyone else's problems from jail more than I was concerned about myself or my own mental well-being. And when I, if I felt particularly, when I say pain, pain an, is, is an awkward one. I don't know if I felt pain because I don't feel sorry for myself and I've developed this mindset of such absolute accountability that even though what happened to me, I believe was unfair and even though I'm completely innocent, I didn't think, ah, what? I didn't, I didn't think, why is this happening? I didn't think, why me? I didn't think, oh, this is unfair. Like none of these things crossed my mind. I was like, this is garbage. However, you can't become the most Google man in the world right. without, uh, with every light has a dark, right? <laughs> like, let's be realistic about this. Yeah. I'm thrown in a jail cell. Do I belong here? No, but am I here? Yes. I was pretty logical about it. And I was like, okay, I've got a lot of things I need to get done. And I would feel angry if I couldn't get them done. But I don't think I felt pain.